Uh, let's go to Vault City and tell them about their... They don't have no problems. Vault City. Vault City. Oh, it's nighttime. Um, cannot rest at this uh, location. I should probably wait until morning just to be on the safe side. I was hoping we'd steer clear of this place for good. Yeah, Cassidy, come on, man. All the cool adventures you have and you're still hanging on to that anchor of the stuff. Okay. Let's go talk to... We should talk to... Servant Electrocution Center. Uh, talk to... What was his name? Stark. I think his name was... Uh, Stark. Hello again, citizen. Something I can help you with? Uh, I plotted that route to NCR for you. I didn't collect that yet? Huh. Alright then, download the information to my pip boy. I'll log it into the patrol computers. This intelligence looks good. Here's payment for your services $500. Plus, you might find this useful. What is this? Oh, a motion sensor! I've been looking for one of those, actually. We were going to strip it to, for parts since it's too old for our pip boys, but it looks like it's compatible for your model. Oh, that's a subtle burn. How does it work? Keep it in your hand and IDs hostiles in your immediate area when you use it. Or you can call up the Pip-Boy auto map as normal, then just click the scanner button and they're lit up like a neon sign. Uh, got any more recon work for me? Yeah, there is something. I have been looking through your reconnaissance report and I found a small village nearby swarming with... Uh, Mole rats. That's what the outsiders call them, right? I want you to go there and exterminate all those beasts. What for? What for? He hesitates for a moment, then frowns. I don't need to explain my motives to you. I give orders and you take them. That's how it is. But if you don't want the job, I'll send a squad to do it instead. But things sometimes get a little messy when I set my boys loose. Wow, well, whatever. I'll take it. Yeah. Let me show you the exact location of the village. Stark marks the village on your Pip-Boy map. Pays seven fifty. Just come back and collect once you finish the task. One more thing, if you don't deal with it in a month, I'll send a squad there to eliminate the monsters and any other threat. Threat. You are overloaded. What? Oh, ho, ho, man! Having one in your inventory will also help you avoid outdoor encounters. Really? Oh, come on! Ways too much. Damn it. Ah, oh, should have put that microfusion in the car. Oh well. I'm too far from the car now. I guess I'll just slowly walk to places. Overloaded. You can hear the clanking of the gears of my power suit. Grinding gears and stuff and other ministry type sounds. Come on. We should go talk to Councilman Troy McClure, or whatever his name is. Weird how those fans don't move. Isn't it? Don't you think that's weird? Almost as weird as that screen with her big face on it. That's creepy. Oh, I need to speak to you about Redding. I found that a large part of Redding is addicted to a chem called Jet. The miners are trading most of their ore to New Reno to keep supplied. What is this Jet that they are all addicted to? 
It's a chem with a 100% addiction rate and severe withdrawals. This is sad news. We need to find a way to put a stop to this. If this keeps up, our ore supplies will ginger to nothing. Please help us. Huh. I don't remember... I guess I didn't do that before. I repaired Gecko's plant. Yes, you mentioned that. I thought I did. Isn't there something to... Maybe I'll go talk to Lynette. He told McClure about the Redding Jet addiction problem. Oh, the dog's in the door. I don't have the patience to push him. Can't kick my dog around. That would be not nice. Hello, Lynette. I really don't want to talk to you ever, but I may as well. Yes? What is it I can help you with? I have some information on those raiders who've been attacking the city. What is it? They were holed up in a series of caves in the foothills to the south. I convinced their guide to not help them anymore. Without him, they will be unable to find their way through the mountains. Information has its price. Yeah! Whatever. You did it! Excellent! You have performed a valuable service for Vault City. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. To think a band of raiders was causing so much trouble. It was really the 49ers. <laughs> they weren't really a roving band of raiders. Turns out they were mercenaries. Mercenaries? Who hired them? The Bishop family in New Reno! What? How do you know this? What evidence do you have? I have a big book that says we did it. Found this account book in the Raiders safe listing payments from Bishop for a three month campaign of terror against your city. With options for one month extensions if you were stubborn. I'm not surprised. Bishop visited not long ago and suggested an alliance. I refused, of course. We do not associate with criminals. Of course you don't. Maybe this is his way of forcing you into an alliance. Possibly. But it would never work. I would sooner ask NCR for help. You have done Vault City a great service. Please, take this as a token of our appreciation. Okay, my pleasure, First Citizen. Good day. You have gained a thousand experience points. Oh, interesting that it's two separate uh, things there. Wiping them out and gaining, uh, telling them that it's uh, Bishop that did it. 278. Wasn't it 280 a second ago? Oh, you're in my way. Let's all just crowd into the president's office or the first citizen's office. My dog's gonna wander all over. So, something about the jet. I think you could talk to the doctor in the vault. God damn it. That's. Uh... Yeah, I'll just take this stupid heavy micro fusion. Why do they call it micro? It's so goddamn heavy. 20 pounds of microfusion cells. Ash, I need to talk to you about your... What? Why are you not using your thing in combat? He keeps running up to people and punching them. Distance. Charge. Let's not use that. Distance. Let's try to change on your own. Attack who? Whoever is attacking me, the strongest, the weakest, whomever is closest is usually the best. Um, let's set him up a little bit. Because he doesn't have so many health hit points. Maybe that'll help him. He's, for some reason he's not using his magic pulse rifle. And I worked really hard to find that, wherever it was. Let's go into the vault.
Vault City prevails. Talk to Dr. Tr Troy. Hello, Dr. Troy. I was able to make an antidote from that sample of jet you gave me. I gave you some jet? Once taken, it nullifies jet's withdrawal symptoms and also removes the euphoria associated with it. Can I, can I get that sample? I think it could help the people in Reading. Of course, here you go. Take it to one of my colleagues. Doc Johnson in Reading! He should be able to tell you... Great, I'll keep this safe. Thanks for the antidote. Yes. Oh. So now we have Jet Antidote. This antidote cures the reliant effects of Jet. Ah, uh, can you make more of it? Oh, I guess not. So we got it. We have two, two of them. We got to be very careful who we use them to. So I swear, Gregory's a hypochondriac. We got to give one to Doc Johnson, and then that'll give let us have one for our own usage that we can use for our own usage. I think I said that already. Oh, hey, this guy. I wonder what. Save game. Vault uh, City. The guy talks. I wonder if we could say anything funny to him now. Did you deliver the information as I asked? Let's cut the crap, Tomcat. I know everything about you and your friends down in NCR. Did I? I don't remember. What friends down in NCR? The NCR is trying to bring honor and government to all of California and Vault City has the power to make it happen. Think of the good we could do with the access to Vault City's technology. But it's Vault City's technology. Others would have no right to it. Nothing touches lies and treachery anymore. Vault City has been lying to itself for years. Don't go down that road, all right? Ignorant heathen, you have ears, but you do not listen. You have eyes, but you are blind. Get from my sight, filthy swine. Nobody talks to me like that, least of all some two-bit wannabe soapbox preacher. It's time you learned a lesson, dead man. I think that sounds like combat. Run away, Thomas Moore. I bet one of my guys is going to kill him. Oh, and now everybody's hostile. What the? That's not nice. The Vault City guys are pissed off, and my dog is gonna eat your preacher. He ate him to death. Oh, come on, Jules. Why won't you use your gun? Oh, does this change my status at Vault City? I don't. Where did Vault City go? Still, I'm still idolized. No, I don't want to. I was dumb. Let's not do it that way. Why would you work for the NCR? I thought you were an honorable man. What is wrong with the NCR? I don't understand. But it's Vault City's technology. All men have right to the right. Have the right to the futures. All men have the right to the fruits of the old world. Technology is to be shared, not hoarded. Hand over some cash or I'm turning you in. What? I don't... This doesn't make sense. How do I know that he's working for the NCR? Bishop didn't tell me that, did he? I don't know. It's been a long time since I talked to Bishop. Because this game... <laughs> game lasts so freaking long. Um... I have to think about this. What? Um... Hmm. You can't bribe him. 
Man, this is pointless. That's strange, though. I don't remember that being happening before, but I don't remember ever going back to talk to him. Because it didn't really seem necessary. So let's go check out this village that uh, Mr. Stark is talking about. And we can go to Redding and cure their jet addiction. And put their jet, uh, make their jet grounded. Uh, hey, village. Hello. Hey, you, what are you doing here? As you enter the small village, your nose is assaulted by the familiar stench of rodent. You see several mole rats milling about. Strangely, they don't seem interested in attacking you or the peasants that dwell here. I talk to them. Hello? Everything should explode! That's a strange thing to say. Stay where you are for now, Wanderer. What are you doing here? I'm killing off these all these mole rats. Those creatures are the only thing stopping Vault City from making us their so-called servants. Uh, I don't understand. They didn't tell me that. You believe them at face value? You have a lot to learn about the world, friend. Oh, I've been burned. What can I do to help? The Vault City boys aren't the bravest. You show them any kind of fight, and they run for the hills. If we had a few guns, I think we could hold them off. Guns are cheap. What sort of guns are you looking for? You guys, you with a tentative grin. You're serious about helping us, aren't you? Alright, if you're up for it, then some rifles would be ideal. That way we could start picking them off from a distance. So if you truly want to help, bring us some automatic rifles. Four would do it. Oh, and a shotgun would be nice, too, if things get close in duty. I'll see what I can do, but guns aren't cheap. Honestly, I think there's a better way to do this. There's a reasonable man on the council in Vault City, Senior Council Member Troy McClure. You may remember him from such other senior councils. I'm sure I could get him to convince the council to come to a peaceful solution. Ha! You really think any of those big shot council members give a damn about what happens to us? Don't be so naive, my friend. Those bastards in the Vault City can't be trusted. Now, please, go find Joe in the Vault City courtyard. If he's not in the bar, then he's probably not far from it. Old Joe will know what to do. You can trust him. Please hurry. Okay, I'll report back when I have some news. Any news? Can I ask you a few questions? Where did these wall rats come from, and why aren't they aggressive? Well, it's kind of a strange story. You see a bunch of ghouls came here one day, mumbling something about renewal and giving out these funky amulets. He shows you an ankh-shaped amulet. These big rodents come with them, and the ghouls said they'll be protecting us from now on. The ghouls left, probably back up to Gecko, but the rodents stayed put, and they've been here ever since. Like I said, it's pretty strange stuff. It's kind of a pain to clean up after these things, but hell, if they can keep Vault City off our ass, then I suppose I could put up with a little rat shit. Very interesting. Do you think I could have one of those amulets? By all means, they gave us so many and we don't know what the hell to do with them. Here, take one. Thanks a lot. Bye. I think I already had one, but now I have another one. And I think I know what this means. A talisman which is worn by followers of the brain. Okay, what's going on in this town? Go speak to Connor. Con Connor? Connor? Con R. Bam, bam, I shoot mutants. The Brotherhood of Steel are the Knights of the Wasteland. I don't like it here. I want to move to the East Coast. Oh, oh no, you don't really want to. Because that's where Fallout 3 is. That's not very fun. I bet my teddy bear could kill you. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I drink from toilets. Can you blow something up, mister? Yeah. Boom! I love explosions! That kid is strange. What is this guy? Welcome to our village. The monsters protect us. Welcome. Good day to you. Little girl. Are you here to help us? 
Are you here to help us? I guess that's all she says. Good day to you. The monsters protect us. Fulfilling that everybody says the same thing. What's in these uh, tents? Another person? Person of interest? We have the right to live here, you know. Did Vault City send you? Well, technically they did, but... I tend to just kind of end up in places. Ah, oh, this is kind of a... <laughs> goo. You see goo. I wish I saw more explosions. Now where would you even learn about explosions? Oh... In the doorway! Out of the way, Cassidy! Get more out of the way, Cassidy! Thank you! Okay... So... Save... Village of the Moles. Rats. Okay, so let's go back to Vault City. Talk to those guys. Uh, let's talk to Old Joe in the courtyard. Oh, it's, um. Uh, rest until morning. Nice duds. Nice day for somebody. So where is old Joe? He said he was in the bar. Or near the bar. Oh, there's a guy near the bar. Open this door. Oh yeah, nobody really comes to the bar because Cassidy was the owner of the bar and now he's not. You see an old man with a crazy gleam in his eye. Hello, haven't seen you in a while. Ah, yeah, it's been a while. What have you been doing? Sure has. Well, I've been around. Finally up here. Ended up here in the good old in this godforsaken place. Not like the good old days, no sir. Yeah, the good old days. Remember that time we Yeah, we sure gave the master hell, didn't we? Shit fell apart after you left, though. I had to move around and change my... Oh my god, it's Ian! Oh ho ho! Holy shit! Ian! He changed his name! Where'd you end up? I've been living up in a small village. Yeah, I looked for your vault for a while. But never found it, so you got any good stories for your old friend? Yeah, Ian! Yeah, Ian, don't you remember me? It's been a bunch of years, you think somebody would forget his best buddy? Well, <laughs> except for that shooting in the back thing! <laughs> Sorry about that again. You must think I am the Vault Dweller. My village was founded by the one who came from the Vault. Well, that makes a bit more sense. Well, it's good to hear my friend did well. Well, old Ian's got some advice for you. You be careful out there. This plane as place ain't as peachy as it seems. What's going on here? Well, the vault citizens think very highly of their bloodline and don't care much for people like me and you. You take this. It'll protect you if things get a little out of control. You probably shouldn't be seen talking with this crazy old man. Best get on your way. Thanks. One more thing, though. I'm trying to help this little village that's northeast of here. A guy there named Kanar told me to seek you out and speak with you. Kanar? Huh? He's a good guy. I've been keeping my eye on things for him. So what exactly does Kanar want now? He was interested in getting some weaponry to fight off the Vault City patrols, but I convinced him there's a better solution. Ah, uh, so that's his new plan, eh? Yeah, Khan R is a good man, but he doesn't always think that think things all the way through. Sometimes it's best to talk things out and try to reason with people. That's a lesson I learned from my old friend, the Vault Dweller. Remember him? He was pretty cool. 
Senior Council Member McClure is shown to be a reasonable man. Perhaps some agreement can be made with him. Hey, if you really are the same Ian that journeyed with my answers, then I've got a question for you. <laughs> How the hell are you still alive? You must be over a hundred years old. Not to mention the Vault Dweller's memoirs, which say you were burnt to death in Necropolis by a super mutant with a flamethrower. He barks gruff laughter for a while. Finally, he settles down and wipes a couple tears from his eyes. Oh, that's rich! Burnt to death by a flamethrower. Ha! You see, I told the Vault Dweller to make up some story about how I died, because I don't want any of my old enemies trying to hunt me down. That's why I changed my name. I told him to have me going down in a blaze of glory, and looks like he took that literally. Ha, ah, that's classic. That doesn't explain how you're alive and well after all these years. Hey, I'm just as confused as you are. Who knows? Maybe it's got something to do with all that radiation I was exposed to back in the old days. Hell, when we went to the glow, I remember the vault driller was popping... <laughs> was popping Radex like candy, but did he offer any to hold Ian? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is great. I think he was still upset over a little friendly fire mishap. <laughs> Those are some good times. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm sure they were. Thanks for the story, Joe. Or Ian. I was curious about the mole rats that are guarding the village, though. What about them? Any idea for where they're from or who's controlling them? That I'm not sure about. A bunch of ghouls came by with them. They were carrying strange amulets and talking about some renewal. That's pretty much all I know. You might want to check out Gecko, though. That place is bustling with ghouls. Speaking of big rats, did I ever tell you about the time the Vault Dweller and I went to Vault 15? No, but I'm well versed in the tale, as it's become a sacred legend in my tribe. It was kind of interesting, I guess. Maybe I'll go see what I can find in Gecko. Take care, Ian. <laughs> it's Ian. Oh my god. I wonder. Friggin' Ian. I wonder if he's got anything on him. No, that would be too cool. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, let's go talk to McClure. I uh, keep lo closing the door on me. Why would you do that? I want to come into your place. Okay. Come on, let's go. Uh, I see some questions. Do you know anything about the nearby village that's swarming with mole rats? Actually, yes, Sergeant Stark reported something on this to me re recently. What interest do you have in this matter? Is it true that you intend to make servants of those people? Recruiting servants is not the issue here. The issue is the threat that these monsters pose to Vault City. According to Sergeant Stark's report, the people of that village seem to coexist with those huge rat creatures. If that's true, they may have found a way to control them, and perhaps that's why these creatures have begun to attack our patrols. Sergeant Stark plans to eliminate these pests, and he has my full support. I assure you the people of the village aren't controlling the mole rats. In fact, I've got a proposition for you. I'll take care of this mole rat problem, and in return, I want your assurance that Vault City will leave the people of that village alone. Interesting proposition, but how exactly do you plan to deal with all those crack creatures? Oh, I know who's controlling them. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Really? Very well then, I'll take your word for it. The raid will be postponed for a month. You're a good man, McClure, and you won't regret this. I thought he said I already had a month, so is it two months? Get out of my way. Oh, uh, I didn't get any experience points. Did I get any experience points for... No, I didn't. That would have been cool for... Getting experience points for talking to Ian. He's a hundred billion years old. Well, Tandy's still alive. 
she was pretty young. I guess Ian was like, what, in his, oh, it must have been in his 20s. Where's my car? Oh, I'm not out of the city yet. Durr, 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 durr. I'm just used to looking at gates that open and doors that close, and it's like all of them kind of blend into each other once in a while. Very welcoming place with all the barbed wire and turrets. Haven't seen a place this welcoming since Iron Storm. Okay, save. And um, faults. Uh, pinky and the brain, I guess that'll work. Let's go talk to the smartest damn roll mole rat you'll ever meet. Let's see, we want to go to junkyard. And find the way down. Let's see. I think it's in this building. Uh, this over here. Yeah, there it is. Let's go talk to him and see if he can be reasoned with. Man, there's a lot of ghouls in this place. You see an unusually large bull rat. Hello. I smell one of my talismans on you, but I don't remember giving you one. I got it from a village. It's just my aftershave, old mice. <laughs> Do you like it? Ah, that's funny. I got it from a village near Vault City. The people there said, your followers. I killed one of your drones and stuck it from his still warm corpse. That would be mean. I bet these ghouls would stay warm for a while, too. I got it from a village near Vault City. The people there said your followers left these with them. I don't care where you got it. The real question is whether you intend to join us and wear it in earnest. I'd rather clean your cage than join you. That depends. Vault City's patrols keep getting attacked by mole rats. I assume you're behind this. Why, of course I am! All part of my grand scheme to take over the world. I saw a cartoon about it once. I wouldn't expect your deficient human brain to understand. Hey! But alas, what concern is it of yours? I just want your... A rat plotting to take over the world? Well, despite your feelings about a rodent ruling the world, the actions I propose would benefit thousands of Vault City and Gecko citizens. Are there really that many? You may not care for me or my motives, but the results are still worth working towards. It makes my flesh crawl to think that I've already helped you in some way. Jeez, why don't you just be like a rodent foe, man? Why did, what do you have against talking animals and shit? Why don't you tell me about these actions that you're proposing? Well, despite your feelings about a rodent ruling the world, the actions that I propose would benefit... I just said that. What? No, I don't want to... Uh... <laughs> it's just my aftershave. Oh, he doesn't answer. That depends. I want your mole rats to stop attacking Vault City. Do you? Interesting. All right, I propose a deal, human. I shall comply with your request if you complete a certain task for me. What do you want me to do? It seems to me that because you have fixed and optimized the reactor, you deserve my help. What is it that you want? I... okay. That's a strangely worded way to go about it, but okay. I just want your mole rats to stop attacking. Most interesting! And I hear I thought you were concerned for the well-being of Vault City. Well, kind of. I mean, if they're not getting attacked, that's good, right? Anyway, the safety of the village is integral to my plan, therefore I shall grant your request, human. 
You come to an agreement about the mole rats with the brain. What exactly does this village have to do with your secret plan? Maybe I'll stop by there in a second. Well, let's go to... I don't know. Well, uh, well... Suppose to go to... Whoops. Vault City first and tell... Troy McClure what we found. Run! Don't need to do anything else here. Do 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 do. Uh, let's go to Vault City. It's uh, it's six in the morning, so we have to wait. I hate this place. Man, Cassidy, lighten up a bit. I'm tired of hearing you complain about the place that you hate so much. Why can't you just do like that Beatles song, Live and Let Live? Uh. Standing on the edge of the grid. Oh, keep closing the door! I think we should talk to McClure before we talk to Stark. Let's talk to McClure. These lonely little trees and their tiny little patches of greenness. Although I guess it's nice to see some trees somewhere. All these adobe buildings, though, are weird. Where do they get those giant cables from? It's amazing! The mole rat attacks on our patrols suddenly stopped without warning. I don't know how you did it, but I thank you. Also shall uphold my end of the bargain. I'll tell order Stark to cancel the raid at once. As long as the people of that village pose no threat to Vault City, they'll have nothing to fear from us. I'll see to that. Thank you. BAM! Just like that! 1k of experience, 15 karmas. What is my karma up to now? This must be like a bazillion million. 1792. I wonder if I could break 2000. I don't know. How much more karma is there to get? For some reason, you get karma for killing the super mutants in the military base. I don't know if you noticed that. Which is kind of weird because I thought they were like mutated. Miners, so they would have been like slaves to the Enclave. I mean, you shouldn't really get karma for killing them. That's what I'm saying. Whoops, let's go to Stark. Stark! What do you do here? Try and protect the city from raiders. Yeah, raiders. They've been hitting us pretty hard. What do you want to know about? I like to. Try and find their base, maybe stop the attacks if I can. I don't I've seen like to help if I could. I still like to try and help. Actually I wiped them out already! Yeah, Vault City shouldn't have to worry about them anymore. Go tell the first citizen at once. Uh about those raiders. I wiped them out. Yeah, you said that before. <laughs> Um, huh. Um, I guess there isn't anything to talk to him about the city of the mole rats. Okay. Oh, shut up, Roger Moore. God damn. Your dialogue is stupid. I don't know why accusing him of working for the NCR is such a bad thing. They seem to be pretty democratic for all their faults. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just go to that village and see if there's any... Well, actually, let's go talk to Ian while we're here. 
See if he has anything to say about whatever. He's still wearing the jacket with one lo missing arm. Go on, get make my old friend proud. I think I've done that. Huh. Okay, he doesn't have anything to say upon completion of the mole rat quest. Let's go to the village. Village. Does it show up on our thing? No. Looks like there's two places we're missing. Well, I know one of them is the Hubologist stash, which you can't get to, I don't think. I'll ask you a few questions. Any news on our dilemma? Okay, I guess this is one of them unresolvable, resolvable things. Okay, uh, that's taken care of. Let's go to Redding and give Doc Johnson the antidote for Jet. Some wolves? Nah, I don't want to bother them. Go to downtown. Gold mining. This where them gold upon them shiny. Why do you have to have your stupid pop-up floating text dialogue be on the top of each other, man? Go to the doctor. Painless, Doc Johnson. I'm Painless, Doc Johnson. I had some questions to ask you. I have a select solution for the jet problem. What do you mean? I mean that I have an antidote to jet. Dr. Troy in Vault City made it, and it should solve the jet reliance problem. Dr. Troy, I know him. A wonderfully talented physician. We worked together when I was in Vault City. Tell me about this antidote. You worked in Vault City? Yes, that's where I received my medical training. I'm a Vault City citizen. I found that there are many places in the world that needed my medical expertise more than Vault City. So here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Now how about that antidote? Dr. Troy said that I should bring the antidote to you and that you'd know what to do with it. Indeed I will. Let me have it then. Here it is. Thank you. I'll make sure the miners get a little something extra with the next batch of jet that they pick up. I hate seeing all those damn jet pilots flying around all the time. Aren't they going to be suspicious? Are they going to be suspicious? Not really. I guess they're used to me processing the bulk batches of jet into user ampules that they haven't even thought twice about. I've been doing it for quite a while before that, and I've been the doctor here for a long time. Got any medical supplies? I guess, um. I guess we can't have anybody, uh. make us any more jet antidotes. Well. I guess I leveled up. Oh, 2,500 experience points! You gained 25 karma! Level 29! Oh, close to level 30, and then I'll get another perk. But I don't know if there's enough stuff left in the game besides going to the end. Um. I guess there's nothing else. Thanks to you, I'm turning that jet problem around. That antidote of you that I slipped into the jet supply is doing a great job of grinding all those jet jockeys. Aren't people suspicious about getting sick on the jet that you sold them? Huh. 
I guess I can't ask him about the thing about Reading and their exports. That one's gone already. So then, let's see. What was the. That was Vault City, right? Deliver sample of jet to Dr. Troy. Well, we should go talk to McClure and see if we get any kind of reward. Off we go, back in the way we came from. Oh, five in the morning. Just drive around some more. Until it's daytime. Oh. Getting tired of all these doors. Ooh, I've crossed the 300 plateau of hit points. Look at that, man. I am like a tank of a man that cannot be killed. That's what that... I got two levels of life giver, don't I? Yeah, that's what that does. Oh yeah! Okay. Let's talk to McClure. Hello, McClure. I need to speak to you about Redding. Dr. Troy has created an antidote for Jet. What are you doing? Take it to Doc Johnson. He should be able to find a way to... That's it? I delivered the antidote to Redding. Thank you. Don't I get anything for my troubles? If it's money you want, money you will receive. Here's $500. Thank you. That was kind of extortionable, but I didn't gain any experience for it. So I, at least I got something. Yeah, five hundred dollars is all right. Okay. Go to the car. I wish it was like a hotkey that you could select for like, go to car. And like, magically, instead of having to run all through these places. Like the exit spell in Final Fantasy or whatever. Like, exit to car. Get to car. Open car door. Use car on. How much charge does it have? 49% power. I used up a lot of gas. Er, fusion, I suppose. Oh. Huh. I forgot that you use it for your weapon that you don't use. I guess I soon spare some of these microfusion things. I haven't had a need to punch anybody in the face ever since I had that Bozar. You know? Hasn't really come in a time that it's useful. Use microfusions. Let's see, it's 49%. How much is it now? 64%. That's a positive direction. 400. Oops. Wanted to look. 84%, so 20%. Gives it 20% power for 40 cells. Okay. Guess that's a good. Well, we don't really need to. Okay. Just about there. I don't 
I guess, well, let's see, the only things... I mean, I kind of want to go to Navarro and just kill everybody there just because they're there. Um... But... Gosh. There's something about there's something about the Western Quest and new and NCR, but I don't remember being able to make it work, and I don't really care that much. I don't really want to assassinate that guy for Bishop. Bishop's kind of a jerk. I don't remember. Did I kill him or not? I probably should have. So. Um, I think I'm just gonna wrap this one up for here. Uh, let's see. All I have left to do... I think, uh, I think I'll just go explode all the Navarro guys, and then it's off to the end of the game! Finally! So, until next time, I will see you around.